Welcome back to Visual Basic for Beginner series. In this lesson, I'll talk about making decisions. I hope you have listened to my earlier three tutorials which cover these topics. Installing Visual Basic 2010 Express, compiling and running a simple application, and then understanding variables, data types, and assignment statements. The objectives of this lesson are to learn about the if then else statement, getting input from the user, and the coding style. Before I talk about the if statement, I want to talk about my teaching style. We are going to talk about programming constructs and you need to follow the syntax, the grammar. I did not learn English or VB programming by learning grammar first. So I will attempt to teach programming by examples. You probably should refer to the recommended text for this class to learn the finer syntax rules. Okay, back to the if statement. If you want to selectively execute part of a program, one way to do that is to use the if statement. The if statement executes a block of code only if the specified expression is true. If the value is false, then the if block is skipped and execution continues with the rest of the program. You can have a, either a single statement or a block of code within an if statement. The conditional expression must always be a boolean type, must evaluate to either true or false. There are two distinct if statements in this example. However, since only one can be true, we can write it using the else clause. Also, what happens if A and both were the same? How would these two programs, how would these two statements behave? Okay, so here is a better style and uh, hopefully little clearer. A is 5 and B is 7. The question you are asking here is, is A greater than B? Then do this, meaning print that statement, else. So what's under else? Under else, we have two possible outcomes. A equals B and A less than B. So if A equals B or A less than B, then it is going to fall under this clause. Here is the third version. Now remember, uh, if you were to test this program, you need to copy these statements and put them inside uh, a subroutine, like a main. Uh, so I want to, I don't want to be showing you, you know, those lines of code because it takes up too much room here. So here is the, here is the better way to do it. If a greater than b, that's one condition. Then it's going to print that. The next thing we are testing is, is A equals B, then we are going to do this, and otherwise, else, it is going to be B greater than A or A less than B. So this is a very clean statement. This is a better way to write the if statement. We saw these operators earlier, less than, greater than, less than or equals, greater than or equals, exactly equal, and not equal. So these are the state, these are the operators that typically get used in an if statement. So here is the code template. If you are going to be developing a console application, it should look something like that. And uh, the code that I will be showing you would go right there. So I may not show the template to save space in my slides. For all the examples that I showed you so far, the inputs, for example, the values of A and B, based on which we were making decisions, were hard-coded, meaning they were embedded inside the program. So if you wanted to change those numbers, like A and B, you will have to go back and change the program. A better way to do that would be to ask for the inputs from the user at runtime, so that we don't need to change the program, we pick up the inputs from the user and then make a decision based on what the inputs were. So let's talk about how we do that, how we achieve that. So let's go through this example. The first statement here is going to simply say enter name, it's going to prompt you. And then the read line statement will simply wait for you to type in something. Assuming you typed in your name, that input, which is a string type, is now going to be assigned to the name. 
the variable name okay so it's going to store the name that you entered once you enter that the next thing it's going to ask you is to enter age and since age is an integer type we have defined the age as, as an integer type not as a string type so what we do is we read from the console using the re read line method which returns a string but then we convert the string input to the integer age by using the parse method of the integer class think about this one as a recipe for converting a string to an integer value so once it reads both of these values it's going to tell you that this is what it got it'll say name is whatever you entered and age whatever you entered and again the final read line waits for you to press the enter key before continuing so now let's go back and apply now if you run the problem if you run that uh, program this is what uh, the output would be it'll say enter name I enter the name here enter age 31 then it's going to print these two values and again I suggest you try some of these examples yourself make few changes to it to see how these programs behave then let's apply that to our if statement instead of hard coding a and b I'm going to ask them from the user so enter the first number which is going to be stored as an a an integer the second number is going to be stored as b another integer now based on the values that you provided it's going to give you either a greater than b or b greater than a so let's run this program uh, when I ran the program I entered a as 7 and I entered b as 5 and this was the outcome of the program it says well what you based on what you entered a is greater than b another way to make decisions in your applications in your visual basic applications is by using the select case statement uh, let's first go through how this works and then we will compare the if statement and the select case statement so in this case your program is going to ask the user to enter an integer hopefully between 1 and 12 you read that one as the variable month which is an integer type then using the select case statement you are saying make a decision based on the value of the variable month if the value of the variable month is 1 case 1 then you're going to do this if not if the value of the variable is 2 you're going to do that etc if you entered a value outside the range of 1 and 12 then it's going to fall under the else clause the case else and it'll say you entered an invalid month so this is uh, much easier to read than an if statement especially if you have only one input the select case can only handle one input uh, one variable for example in this case the month uh, a note on the coding style the indentation you may have noticed that certain statements were indented in the examples that I have been showing you even though VB compiler does not care where you place your statements relative to each other indenting the code helps making the code more readable it turns out that when programming you may be spending 90% of your time reading the code and only 10% of the time writing new code so you should try to make your code readable unless of course you are worried about your job security so that was a quick tutorial on making decisions in your programs the topic that is coming up next is on loops especially the for loop and the do while loop please visit my website it contains tutorials on many programming languages like C Sharp, Java, PHP, etc. Thank you for listening.